here we discuss let expression you can see that I have created a, a type structure with field 1 and field 2 and then I am creating a LT data internal table with the help of this type we earlier saw how to use value value keyword but earlier earlier in the case in that case we used table data type since we are using here a structure data type that's why we would not be able to assign it to a table that's why we are assigning to a work area so now moving ahead as you can see that inside value construct we have used let keyword which is known as a local helper uh, operator and defines variables on the fly for example in this case as you can see that with the help of let keyword we have defined the variable x and y and at the same time we have an initialized it dynamically also this construct is inside the do and do loop so this x and y will be assigned different values in each iteration and at the same time we are since we are using this ty data type we are telling the system that x is equal to the field 1 and y is equal to field 2 We are storing this value uh, values in LWA data and we are appending th this work area to an internal table and we will pl print it later. Now point to be noticed here that we have created uh, X and Y variables here. In the place of variable we can define and use field symbols also. One more thing about the variables or field symbols created with the help of let expression. This cannot be used outside uh, this, this construct. For example, if I would like to use this x here, this gives me an error. So the error is variable x cannot be used here it's there but we cannot use it if you try if you try to define it that is not possible also for example data x type psi index So you see the error. X was already declared. It says that field X obscures a global field with the same name. And this global field was already used in this current validity area. The point is X is still here, but we cannot use it. Or let me just clear it. And activate it let me execute this one and you can see that uh, the dynamic values assigned to the X and Y which were defined by let expressions are printed For more information, I suggest to read the online documentation for LET. It has much more to offer.